After I released my Hellbrute conversion video and actually got some positive feedback on it, I went to eBay and snagged this Furioso Dreadnought, and a uh, year and a half, two years later, I'm finally going to do something with it. This channel is all about chaos, I don't know if you knew, and this one I am going to turn into a Nurgle Dreadnought. There's already a lot of good stuff to work off of here, it's... Okay. I really like the chaos spiked arch on the top, which is I think from a tank upgrade sprue. And that's not something I would have ever thought to do with it, so that's going to stay. But uh, before all that, the paint job on this is thick. Two, maybe even three C's we're talking here. Specifically the primer. And Simple Green got everything but the primer off. So basically nothing. I ended up having to dunk a toothbrush into some nail polish remover and scrub most of the black primer off that way. The next thing to do is remove all traces of Blood Angels from the model. All insignias must go. The grappling hooks on the Magna Grapple have to go. I ended up removing the Magna Grapple so I could push it back just a little. I was making a lot of minor adjustments and the whole top part was really simple so I didn't really bother to record any of that. I wanted to replace the original sarcophagus with this plague marine torso. It's not a perfect fit but it's pretty close. So I cut out the bottom half of the sarcophagus to fit the new torso on. It'll need a bit of green stuff work to fill the gaps but it's not that big of a deal. Might as well swap the half skull for an actual helmet as well. And the helmet's too big. I try to gently remove the framing so I could glue that back on later. It may have broken in a few places, but I will fix that with some green stuff. I had to taper the back of the helmet to get it to fit, but once it's glued in place, you can't really tell the difference. So I did all that gluing and gap filling, and this is how it turned out. I'm trying to use liquid green stuff just to get rid of it, and tried to fill the X on the side armor plate and leg armor, but it shrinks a lot when it dries, so using regular green stuff or milliput would have been quicker and way easier. I covered the cutoff grappling hook gimmicks from the Magna Grapple with lights I made copies of from a Storm Raven bit I got off eBay specifically for the lights. I thought the Dreadnought needed at least one more bit of iconography, so I made a green stuff copy from a Typhus shoulder pad. And since I had some extra green stuff, I filled the X's like this one on the side armor plate. Once the green stuff cures, I glue on the cleaned up insignia. If I haven't lost you by now, hit the like button with the razor's edge. I realized while I was writing this that I kind of make it sound like I know what I'm doing. I don't. I have a general idea of how I want things to look, but really I'm just making it up as I go. Like trying to repose the legs. I snipped the leg cables and then the leg from the hip cylinder deal, only to glue it back in a slightly more exaggerated pose. To replace the cables I cut off, I heat up a needle tool to melt an opening, like so. I might as well replace the cables on the exhaust as well. I'm using guitar string for the new cables, by the way. You can't even tell I changed the legs at all, but you know, whatever. Call it a learning experience. Won't do that again. I didn't film it, but I added the staff from the Glotticus model to the spiked arch and glued on some nurglings as well. It's pretty basic stuff. I like to think that the big one on the left is like the boss nurgling, and he tells really unfunny jokes, real eye rollers. But since all of his lackeys are kind of scared of him, they just like cackle away at anything he says. Except for the one with the skull. He ain't buying it. I really shot myself in the foot, deciding that I was going to have to paint these models that I convert for the videos. 
I don't have any intentions of being like a competition level painter or anything, but I know with some practice I can improve quite a bit on things like color choice and contrast and maybe getting the painting done faster. That would be cool. Well, that's it. I started this months ago, didn't like where it was going, and promptly started a new project. I did that about six times, and I finally came back to it and got this video out. Hope you liked it uh, more than I did. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Sooner this time.